As many of you already know, I am not an advocate for sending your kids to these so-called institutions of higher learning. Now, this is actually coming from someone that actually has two degrees, bachelor's and a master's degree. But when I was actually in school, I was not indoctrinated. These institutions of higher learning now, they're woke. They are super woke. And this generation of young college students are extremely woke. Harvard is supposed to be one of these premier institutions. It is extremely difficult to actually get into. But the students there seem to be super duper woke. And guys, we have made videos on the Palestine war against Hamas. And the American left seems to be all on board for the most part with Hamas. How can you actually justify supporting the killing of innocent women and children? They're not actually going out there fighting against the military. They started it by committing a terrorist attack at a concert. Innocent women and children and men killed or taken hostage. How can you actually justify that? But to the woke left, they don't care. They're all on board with Hamas. And to tell you the truth, they really do sound a whole lot like the Nazis. Because when the final solution was actually put into place, the Nazis blame the Jews. That she said the Jews were setting up their own destruction. And now you got woke students over at Harvard echoing these sentiments of the Nazis. And guys, they may have just signed their death warrant to their careers because these woke students are finding out pretty fast and they are panicking. Because CEOs at these very, very good paying corporations that one day they can actually get jobs with. They want nothing to do with these students. Actually, they want the names of these students so they don't actually hire them one day. These students being a part of these woke organizations and supporting them have just committed career suicide. Check this out, guys. Harvard student groups who blame Israel for Hamas terror attack face backlash from corporate world. How in the world can they actually blame the Israelis for the attack? Hamas drew first blood on this. They went after these civilians and these woke students are supporting that publicly, just like BLM. Let's read this. It says in the days since over 30 Harvard organizations signed a joint statement declaring Israel entirely responsible for the Iranian Palestinian terrorist group Hamas's massacre of innocent civilians in Israel. A number of students affiliated with these signatures have attempted to distance themselves from the sentiments. Now, this is very disturbing, guys. 30 organizations at Harvard. 30 of them put out a statement blaming Israel. I mean, is that pretty much every organization on campus? I mean, that is a lot right there. A lot. But let's continue on. Many made the move after a prominent billionaire, Bill Ackman, said he and other CEOs were interested in knowing the names of the students in the groups so as to ensure they did not inadvertently hire them in the future. Yeah, these CEOs want nothing to do with these Walt students. And look at this on Etsy. Give me a follow on Etsy at Real John Matrix. Help me get over a thousand followers. Appreciate it. Closing in close to about 900, I, I believe now. But this is what um, Bill Ackman actually put out here on Etsy. He put out, I've been asked by a number of CEOs if Harvard would release a list of the members of each of the Harvard organizations that have issued the letter assigning sole responsibility for Hamas's heinous acts to Israel so as to ensure that none of us 
inadvertently hire any any of their members. If, in fact, their members support the letter they have released, the names of the signatures should be made public so their views are publicly known. One should not be able to hide behind a corporate shield when issuing statements supporting the actions of terrorists who we now learn have beheaded babies, among other inconceivably despicable acts. Yeah, and there is a list of them right here. A list of them. And right here, this is some of the statements here of them actually blaming Israel, calling them an apartheid regime. I mean, my goodness, man. And here is a list of um, these um, organizations, 30 of them. The Harvard Pakistan Forum, Harvard Muslim Law School Association, uh, Harvard uh, Islamic Society, Harvard Graduate Students for Palestine, um, Harvard Divinity School uh, Muslim Association. It seems like most of these are probably actually um, Middle Eastern um, student organizations here. Uh, neighbor program, Cambridge, Seats and Companions of Harvard Undergraduates, Society of Arab Students. Yeah, they have ended their careers before they even start. Yeah, woke students, man, they're learning real, real fast. They're going to learn real, real fast, man, that um, they will not have a career. And Harvard, man, is super expensive to go to. Super expensive. They're done. But this uh, one Harvard student right here uh, says, um, I'm a Harvard Law student, so I know many members had no say in whether their organizations sign uh, either letter. Many weren't even notified that their organizations were considering doing so. No need for this level of harassment. And uh, she's actually replying to uh, Bill Ackman. She wants to make sure that she actually has a job when she gets out. And so she actually puts out her own personal stance here. She says, I unequivocally condemn the horrific acts of violence against innocent civilians that Hamas committed this weekend. My heart goes out to those who are grieving for their loved ones. I did not sign the letter. It does not reflect my beliefs. I am also not a board member of any organization that signed this letter. I only made this post to provide additional context. But the thing is, you are a member of this organization. And what students run this organization? So, you really do support this organization because you are a member of it. I mean, why don't you just um quit being a member of this organization then? Yeah, that they're terrified, man. They are terrified. Look, look at this post right here replying to this um uh lady um Mohini Tangri. She just um put out that post where she said that um she didn't actually sign a letter. But um this person says um, Harvard students were legit worried that their open Hamas support will affect future job opportunities with Goldman. And they're right. Because I, I believe eventually, man, that the names of these students will get out there eventually, I believe. Something is telling me that something will actually leak out there. And these students are panicking, panicking. It's amazing. It is amazing. I guess I could read this part here because this is part of the letter. I should have read it at first, but I didn't. But it says here in that statement, the groups called Israel an apartheid regime and said it was, quote, the only one to blame for the terror. Israeli violence has structured every aspect of Palestine existence for 75 years. They added from Systemized land seizures to routine airstrikes, arbitrary detentions to military checkpoints and enforced uh, family separations to targeted killings. Palestinians have been forced to live in a state of death, both slow and sudden. Uh, the current Harvard president eventually spoke out against the statement while her predecessors slammed the school's leadership for its delayed response. Hmm. 
So I guess initially Harvard didn't actually say anything about this. But now all of a sudden they're panicking. They are panicking. Oh, my goodness. Check this out. They actually have woke courses that students actually take there. Look, look at this post right here from uh, Christopher uh, Rufo. Here are some of the current Harvard courses on decolonization, promoting theories of anti-colonial struggle and how uh, BIPOC communities forge intersectional solidarities to rebel against global white supremacy. That was a mouthful right there. And they're using woke terminology like BIPOC. I mean, the, these woke students are done. They're done. Get their names out of there, man, because, boy, these are going to be the, these are supposed to be the future leaders of the business world or whatever, you know, set that they're going to be in. These students are just too woke for regular jobs. These are the kind of people, man, that would have um breakdowns on the jobs if you don't actually give them that way. I mean, boy. Harvard, man, supposed to be an elite institution is definitely an elite woke institution. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.